So let's use our convert tool to really change the quality of this curve. First off, if you're not already on an active path, hold down your command key, click somewhere on the path to make it the active one, and then choose the, by clicking on it, the anchor up here that's the smooth anchor. You see we've got Bezier handles going off in both directions and if we hold down the command key and click on that little point or dot at the end of the handle, they will move together. That is a locked Bezier handle and when they're like that, where they move together, that line will be perfectly smooth through there. You can break that handle by using your convert tool. So that's how you get these to move separate from one another. You can either grab that from your pin menu, which is there at the point, excuse me, at the bottom, or hold down Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC. And when you hover over that Bezier handle, you'll now have that upside down V. You can grab that, click and grab, and drag that completely separate of that other Bezier handle. So that's great for using your convert tool to really change the shape of the line. What if you want that curve back or to change a corner into a curve? This is how you do it. You hold down your option to get your convert tool. You click once and then drag to create those locked bezier handles again. So that's how you can restore locked bezier handles. If you want to change something just to a corner, so here's a smooth one. It's similar to that last in that it's got bezier handles going out both sides. If you grab your convert tool by holding option and just click on it once, it will get rid of all the bezier handles associated with that particular anchor. And then to turn it back to smooth again, option, click, drag. Okay, this next exercise uses all of these skills together. I'm going to talk you through how I look at a line. This is a curved line, so I'm going to use the curve anchor by clicking and dragging. This is also a curved line, so I will use the curved anchor by clicking and dragging. Once I've placed my anchors, I hold down Command or Option to adjust that line. You'll notice this number two anchor has beziers going out both side of it, which means if I click on which means if I click on number three to make a corner anchor, I'm actually going to get this really funky curve there. So I need to get rid of this bezier handle. To go from a curved line into a straight line, hold Option to grab your convert and just click on that anchor. You'll notice the bezier A line disappeared. So now I can just click once to create a corner line. If I hold shift, it will go perfectly vertical and horizontal as I click on both of those. This next one, if you hold down shift and click on six to make that straight line, and then hold down option and click and drag that last anchor point, you can create a bezier handle to go from a straight to a smooth line. So this is a curve. I'm going to use a curve anchor by click and dragging and then I'll hold down option, I'm sorry, not option, command, to get my white arrow tool and adjust those couple of bezier handles so that it matches the curve. And then I will continue on to eight. If you ever are unsure of if you're continuing on the same line, just click once on your last anchor point and that will for sure make you so you're on that line and continuing on. So doing a click drag for the curve over here would be great. And then to get rid of this bezier handle, you can option click on that anchor point. I'll adjust these by holding command. This one moved a little bit, so I'm going to command click on it and adjust that anchor. I'm going to continue by clicking here on the eight and then hold shift and click on the nine. You can get off it at any point by holding escape or holding down command and clicking. And there's our line. So if any of that was really difficult for you, what I would suggest doing is either hiding or deleting this layer and trying that over again, just walking step by step with the tutorial and uh, then move on to the next practice because there's plenty of practices. You'll be a total pro with this pen tool by the time you're done with the lesson.